So let's look at the text capture wizard. You'll find it in the editor under in code builders under text capture and it is an easy way of creating code that will capture text from the screen. It uses the functions that we've all seen before but of course it avoids you having to figure out what you need to put into the different parameters. So the first option, get text from a screen position, allows us to move the crosshairs to somewhere on the screen where we can see some text and of course it also gives us a way of verifying whether or not the, the text at that position is something we can actually capture. Um, so you can see as I move over you can see the value in the edit box changing so I know that that's something I can get hold of. So let's get the text at this position and we'll insert. I'll come back to this in a minute so we can test it but let's do the next option which is the a rectangle so we click there and we can draw a rectangle on the screen and say get the text in that rectangle and there it is there and then hit insert code and of course what it saved us from doing is figuring out really what these coordinates are so it makes life a little bit easier for us other option is to get the text of the whole window. So let's find our QuickBooks one and there you are, the text is in there so we'll insert the code again. And the final option uses the get control text function and looks for caption text. Now of course not every type of control necessarily has caption text and so it won't get as much text as the pre previous options which use lower level text out hooks but it can be useful in, in some situations so we can see that these pieces of text for example are capturable and if we look over here you can see that this is a, a class called static whereas these ones which we could get before show you with this option as you can see they don't seem to be something we can get with this with this option but it can be useful in certain situations particularly button captions and uh, status bar text that kind of thing so let's get that and insert the code and of course what it's done is it's made it simple it's, it's figured out what the class name of the object is and what its index is without us having to figure that out for ourselves so it makes it easier and it also allows us to verify what we can or can't get. Let's just put some diagnostic message boxes in here so we can watch these working. So first we're going to get text from that position then we get text from the rectangle there you go, a bunch of text then we're going to get text from the whole screen so this should be even longer, there it is and then we're going to get text from the cap from the object caption. There it is. So there you are. Makes it easier to create the code and also allows us to verify what we can and can't get.